put it into my this and most important thing the water you should not be hot it should be cold as hot water can felt the fabric hot water can felt the fabric again I am inside this I am giving it a wash here squeeze just like that into my second tub for more clean water washing As you can see there are no wrinkles and they are quite nice and the sound can be heard properly. So this is the correct washing method for a wool. Now we will let it dry using the help of a towel not in the sun. So we will keep a paper towel or you can also use your normal towel which absorbs has the ability of absorbing water till it is little bit dried or completely dried and then you can start with your ironing process. So now you can see the fabric was uh, paper towel dry, okay, we pat it dry and we didn't leave it in the sun and now here is the fabric, let's iron it. To iron again, spread it on a flat surface, mark my iron at 4, for cotton it was 5, so here it is going to be for wool 4, wait for the iron slide to go off so it tells me it is heated and then I can start with my heating. Make sure that you iron it gently. No need to sprinkle any water. You will see some smoke coming out. That doesn't mean your fabric is burning. Okay. That is just that the fabric is little bit wet. So the water is evaporating. That's the first. Then you can turn and again heat, fold one, two. This is your fabric ready for your wool. Now let us come forward and see our final washing technique used for silk fabric. Dear students, now we are coming back to our final fabric that is the silk. The method for washing the silk is quite similar to the wool. That is, you should have your lukewarm water. Into that you should have your Rita nut solution or Rita nut powder with the soap powder. But this time, after adding them, make sure that there is a lot of lather formed. Here you can see, I shaked a lot and I made a lot of lather as compared to before. But if you want, you can do it more. Just put your hand inside, give a quick shake, the lather will be formed. And you can see the lather coming up. Because of this formation. See, this is the lather. Into this lather, we will add our silk fabric and soak it. It should be really a very nice concentrated soapy solution. The method used for washing the silk is just like wool, kneading, mild kneading and very gentle rubbing but squeeze it very softly so that mostly it is absorbing the lather soap not much of water so you have to basically in the silk absorb more of lather as compared to water once you are done with this squeeze it out like this first you see my hand all with soap 
I am just giving a gentle squeezing to it. And then putting it into different water solution for removing all the soap. Now, we will let it to be in the water so that the soap, if there is any, can be moved out. Till then, what we can do is, let it be for, for about 5 minutes inside. I will dry my hands here. We are having a different tub with more water inside. Into this, I would add vinegar. We have water, more water, so we will be adding like about 3 tablespoons of vinegar. Inside the vinegar, I want you to add gum powder. And when you are giving the final wash, this is going to be the final wash for your silk. Okay? So, make sure both are cold water. So, add your gum. Give a shake. Shake it and do your best so that all the gum powder is dissolved in it. Try your best to dissolve the gum powder. So now you can see, I am taking out from the soap, last, uh, not the final rinse, the second last rinse of the bull silk fabric here. Squeeze it gently, not twisting it. And our final rinse is going to be in our vinegar, water and gum powder solution. Soak it. One. Out, two, out, three, out, four, out, ten times. And the tenth time. And then your final squeezing. That squeezing I will do it in here. I am not twisting it. Just pressing it. And squeezing. Applying just some my palm pressure on it so that it is squeezed. This is the silk which has been washed. Now is the time to finish it. Again, one final time. Okay. You can also use your paper towel or normal cloth just to moist, uh, pull out, pat dry all the water. Don't leave it inside the sun. Let us come back to our ironing part. But. So dear students, here we have the silk fabric which has been dried. And now I am going to lay it flatten on the surface. Set my iron to number 2 for silk and polyester and iron it gently. <coughs> A very light ironing will be done. Again you will see some smokes coming out that is because little bit of moisture is still there in the fabric. And the fabric smells like vinegar because we had put the given it a last rinse so that the yarns are protected because of the gum and our vinegar solution. Here you can see the fabric has been ironed back and forth. You can iron them. And your beautiful scarf is ready at a very light heat. Now you can fold it. One, two, three. So these are our three fabrics, cotton, wool and silk that were used 
by doing the washing and the finishing methods. This is how you will be asked to do during your practical time. Make sure that each and every step is very thorough with you people. And now we will be discussing our related question areas. So dear students, here you saw the practical how we did it. So now let us come to the related question areas. Our question number one is, why is Rita Nut solution not used for white fabrics? During the video, only the answers are hidden. So the answer is, Rita Nut solution has a brown stain or color for it, which will stain our white fabrics. That is why Rita Nut solution should not be used as it will stain the fabrics. Question number two. Why should you wash woolen garments in cold water? As you know, lukewarm or warm water can felt the garments. That is why we should wash it always in the cold water. As warm or hot water can felt the fabrics. Question number three. Why should you moisten the starch cotton garments before ironing? Again the answer is already hidden there but I would like to tell you remember that you have starched the cotton in your final rinse, squeeze it, hung it and then you are going to come to the process of ironing. If you are going to do the ironing without moistening this fabric, these can give a yellow effect or a yellow color. It will yellow the fabric. Especially white fabrics will be turned into yellow. So make sure that you moisten the fabric, cotton fabric before ironing. These are the three possible types of questions or maybe more will be asked you during what each process means and why detail nut solution has been used or why gum powder has been used or why vinegar has been used all this or why you have to give a final wash different types of questions can be asked to you so go through your lesson go through the practical go through this video it will help you a lot if you have got any questions please let me know in the comment box below thanks for watching the video